guys. So, uh, we're back with another review at Gwyneth Paltrow show. Although, thankfully, in this series, she seems to, like, very minimally be in it. So, it's a lot easier to, to digest than Goop Lab was. But, uh, we're into, uh, season, not season, episode three of Sex, Love, and Goop. And this episode was called Your Mother Can't Watch This. Uh, full disclosure that, yeah, this is the first episode where it's starting to, like, ratchet up a bit into being closer to what I think we all assumed this show probably is, but still not there fully yet. I'm also relieved they're finally showing the other couples that were in the first episode that they, like, never, like, showed or talked about again. Yeah, we're finally going there, like, we ditched the first couple of like couples. Uh, this one is the other two. So we have a lesbian couple and we have an elderly couple. So, all right. I'm immediately more interested in both of these than I was in the first two couples. So, <laughs> um, basically the lesbian couple is dealing with things like internalized self-hatred. Actually, actually, both couples are kind of dealing with the like negative self-image, self-hate thing. So both of them are dealing with it in different ways. They have different therapists, but um, like the lesbian couple, obviously, like being raised in a way to where, yeah, not a whole lot of education being given about the topic. Like they knew they're lesbian, but they don't know how to be lesbians in their words. Like I get that. I felt that. Like. <laughs> I 100% was able to relate there. Um, so their sex therapist is basically starting at square one of like showing them how to be intimate without fully being necessarily sex itself. But um, they got to the point of even undressing to an extent. Uh, not fully. I, I don't know if there's any actual nudity in the show. I don't know. Uh, maybe in the last few episodes. I don't know. But, um, so far, no. But, like, clearly they got very uncomfy as of a certain point, at which point the therapist recognized this. It was like, L let me stop you right there. Actually, would it make you feel better to put your clothes back on? She's like, yes. It's like, okay, so we're going to get to the root of what you're feeling right now. And try to determine why are you feeling that way right now. And try to address those issues. Because in addressing those, we're getting to the roots of things that'll actually serve you in your everyday life. That is like acting as roadblocks mentally towards progressing further in things. Like, I think that's so relatable, not just as an LGBT thing, but I think just in general... I mean, I would say as a woman thing, but I think kind of probably it's relatable for a lot of people of any gender, but, um, so that was mainly the focus of theirs, um, whereas the elderly couple, like, apparently it's more a matter of, like, mismatched sex drives, like, this dude just wants to go at it multiple times a day, every single day, like, sir... <laughs> Buddy, calm down. <laughs> like, his first wakes up with morning wood and just wants to go. It's like, nah, uh, and she's like, yeah, I'm not, uh, not really into this. Like, can we not? Like, he wouldn't even, like, bother with, like, trying to warm up to the idea. Just wants it when he wants it. You can definitely see what the issue is here, right? Like, <laughs> like, dude, calm yourself. Listen to your wife. But, um... So they, their therapist was teaching them more of recognizing each other's body language and taking cues from that and actually slowly warming up to things, get the idea in her head, get her thinking about it, used to it, and actually wanting to act on it rather than just expect it because she's there. It was amusing watching one exercise she did with them where she had them crawl around on all fours like animals and interact as animals. And she's like, yeah, and every couple I've ever had do this, they always sniff the butts. It's like, oh god, that's uncomfy. But at the same time, it's like, yeah, I guess, like, you tell people to act like animals, they apparently think dogs. But 
<laughs> it's just like, dude, why? But um, I feel like even just in the one episode, we already saw progress with them. Like, yeah, I think basically somebody just needed to tell this dude fucking chill a little bit. <laughs> like, calm down, buddy. Like, yeah, we get it's important to you, but slow down. <laughs> but um, yeah, there was like about, uh, a bit about body image issues for the wife in that couple. I mean, with aging, obviously, things aren't the same as when you're younger. It's hard to feel sexy when your body's changing in ways that aren't what the media and society tells you are sexy. It just, yeah, there, there's a lot of getting inside your own head with that. I'm not even, like, half her age, I don't think, but I get that. But, um, so they addressed a lot of that, too. I'm just like, I think it it is important to start a conversation about those kinds of things. Um, because they're kind of, like, viewed as taboo. Like, I think a lot of people experience them, but nobody wants to talk about them. And therein lies the problem. This is where, you know, therapy, it's a good thing. <laughs> um, anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much what this episode was. It didn't go further than what I thought was going to be a thing. Um, I haven't peeked at the title of the next one, so I don't even have a hint yet as to what number four is about. I'm not sure that I'm ready to go for number four yet. I, I spaced these out of, of ways because it's just like, yeah, it does get uncomfy, but I mean, just because it's uncomfy doesn't mean it's bad. It just need to be ready to mentally handle it, but it's just like, yeah, sometimes it's good to get outside your comfort zone and, like, address issues head-on, but at the same time, you don't have to rush it. <laughs> but anyways, ah, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on episode three. There's only three more. It's just like Goop Lab, where there's only six episodes, so. Anyways, that's it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time, see ya.